right, Ms. Mills, so we're gonna start off and we're gonna do um, kind of questionnaire parts of it. Um, so I do have a table here for you um, that we're gonna refer to. Um, so the first task, it's all about stability, durability, and dependability of your power wheelchair. So, um, and these three things can affect how you carry out your daily routine. So I'm gonna ask you to respond to various questions regarding how stable, durable, and dependable your wheelchair is, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So the first one is just on stability. Um, so the first question says, in the last month, how many times while seated or moving to and from your power wheelchair has it tipped or have the wheels lost contact with the floor or the ground? So that could mean it could tip mm -hmm. to one side, um, it okay. could tip forward or backward. So in one month, would you say that, that it's happened zero times, one to five, six to 10, 11 to 15 mm -hmm. times, and so on? Well, um, the, the ramp coming up to the house and stuff, sometimes if I take it a little too fast, I kind of rev back a little bit. So that's that, I don't know, that probably happens every week, but I mean, for the last, what'd you say, in the last week? In the last month. The last month, probably about one one to five. One to five times? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you said it's because of going up a ramp? Yeah, it doesn't okay. mean, well, I, I go a little fast. They've been trying to tell me to slow down, but I, it was going a little fast and it just kind of takes off some. Okay, so we'd say like the level or the height of the incline of the ground of the train is where you have difficulty with, with tilting back in your chair? Um, well, it's not difficult for me, but I guess, because I know I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out, but people think I'm gonna fall out, so I guess it's just the ramp. It's really the main place that that has ever happened. Okay. And then the next question says, um, so have you ever sustained any uh, injury during any of these tips? Like you said, you've never fallen out of the chair, right? Yeah. So you've never sustained any type of injury? No, uh -uh. Okay. I mean, sometimes I may have reached out for the side rail and it got a little splinter in my finger, but nothing, okay. nothing really major has ever happened. I've not really fallen out of it before. Okay. All right. So the next one we're going to move on to is um, durability. So it's the same thing. In the last month, how many times... Um, have you been able to do a task? How many times have you not been able to do a task that you wanted to do or needed to do or were required to do because of the durability of the features of your wheelchair? So when I say durability, um, for example, has your power wheelchair, have the features ever broken down on it? Yeah. Were you not able to, were they not able to hold up or withstand your daily use? Um, yeah. So have you ever had any problems with durability? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this chair, I mean, I've had it for a while and stuff, and it's not really, I mean, holding up the tilt that was on it isn't working anymore, um, and so I can't really use that, and the headrest, you can see, it's, it, it won't stay centered, so I just kind of leave it flip back so that way. Broken. Yeah, the screw in there is stripped, so I can't, um, it won't stay to turn it around and stuff. So would you say, if we were going to put a number, is this everyday issue? Or is it just a couple times a week? Did it just occur? Mm, oh, it's been about a couple months now okay. that it, uh, that happened from. So would you say it's more like over 20 times a month that you're dealing with? Is 20 times in a month? It's an everyday issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would that seem to fit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else besides the headrest and the tilt? My leg Which rest doesn't mm -hmm. stay, but they keep. They don't lock? Yeah, it okay. just bounces like this. If you don't mind, I'm just going to write a few notes down. Okay. Okay, and then the last one is dependability. So, same kind of thing. Um, in the last month, how many times have you not been able to do a task that you wanted to do or needed to do or required to do because your wheelchair was just not dependable? So when I talk about dependable, we're saying because um, it needed repairs or it performed inconsistently from day to day. So have you ever needed to do repairs on it? I say, oh, well, yeah. But did you get the repairs? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. We hadn't been able to get in touch with someone to fix them. So they've been needed repairs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the tilt, you know, it's needed repairs for a couple months now, so would you say it's probably over 20 times in a month you've had difficulty with dependability? Um, I guess less? so. I mean, I mean, you kind of, I don't know, since it hasn't been working, I just go about doing it the regular way. I've been 
So I guess I, I really don't know how to how to answer, answer it. That? Yeah. Okay. We'll just make a note of it. And then what exactly did you need repairs on other than what you've already told me? If you were gonna look at this list, is there any new issues that maybe you didn't tell me about, such as um, calling for the service? I mean, has that been an issue getting a hold of somebody to come out? Yeah, I've lost the sticky thing on the side of the chair, so I don't know who to call. I'm just kind of trying to remember that um, when I had gotten it from the people at the nursing home. Um, and uh, that's about, I mean, the leg about rest, it. yeah. Have you had any problems with the, your battery life? or other electronic It problems? drains really quick. I gotta charge it. If I'm trying to go up the street to the Walmart or something, I have to really make sure I've charged and not used it a whole lot that day. Um, so it used to be I could go like a couple days without charging it, but I gotta okay. do it every day now. Okay. All right, do you have any other questions on this one?